automatic creep between clearance analysis with 3D CAT data and eCAT data. What's the challenge? Uh, electrical currents do not uh, take the way they're supposed to. Sparks can jump over the air. In the air, then we're talking about clearance and currents can travel over insulations. Uh, they occur when electrical networks are placed too close. They produce short circuits and destroy the equipment. We have to avoid them at any cost. Mandatory distances for products must be guaranteed. Depending on voltage differences, uh, pollution degrees, industrial standards like UL840 uh, give advice how long the distances need to be. You can check them by hand. To queries do that automatically for you. It's also taking in account the uh, aspect of the groove width. How to create imports all kind of uh, 3D data like uh, Annex, Creo, Katia. In the worst case, you're taking a step file. And for a user, it's very easy to learn the user interface. And in addition, there is a very good help in how to create. After importing, we have to assign metadata. We are assigning CTL, CTI values to the insulators. Uh, and we can also uh, take all the ports with the bounding box uh, to select and assign uh, them as conductive. And let's say also some uh, special surfaces can be treated as uh, conductive by selecting them. It's quite easy to handle. And uh, special elements like screws and springs can, can be taken into the analysis as bounding boxes in order to analyze the worst case scenario. Then we are applying this metadata, all the uh, conductive uh, parts are building a network if they are touching each other. For understanding reasons, we are renaming uh, those nets, we are merging uh, some of them, and then we are moving them over to the potential or to the grounded area, and we are defining, let's say, the uh, voltage values to each network and uh, then we are ready to start the analysis. The analysis setup is uh, very easy to handle. Normally you are using uh, standard tables. In that standard table some uh, rules are inside and they will be applied to the different networks depending on the voltage difference. You can add a violation tolerance and then you can start the analysis. Normally clearance is very uh, fast and creepage takes a little bit longer. In addition, the whole analysis takes 85 seconds. Now we are going for having a look at the results. You select the network pair combinations and then you can see if there is a violation or not, you can select those paths. They will be highlighted in the main window and you can uh, cut them out with path windows or you can also only show the involved components. You can highlight the path and in addition to that you can comment on that path and it's also possible to save some special camera positions. Now let's document our analysis by creating a documentation, in our case a PDF file. We are we can use some templates, so we are doing that manually by loading some images and logos to the uh, document and we uh, save it. This saves a lot of time because documentation is, is very time consuming. Now we see the results here, the analysis parameters, the creepage paths, and all that kind of stuff is automatically in uh, that document. We can also save the 3D data with the paths as an ACS file to uh, disk. 
uh, that means later on the users can see the 3D results with the free of charge viewer. PCBs can also be imported into AutoCreer with the ODB++ format or they are available in AutoCreer and uh, we can also use additional information from the ECAT system, information about uh, networks, about uh, other uh, things are available in these documentation files of the ECAT systems. In the next case, we already have a mechanical uh, component in AutoCreer and we will add to that mechanical component the PCB. And in the same way, we can analyze the PCB within the mechanical components with inner and outer rules. Now let's have a look at the viewer, which is free of uh, charge. With that viewer, we, we can uh, have a look at the ACS files and, of course, at all the paths into that that uh, make sure that all the person and even the security authority can have a look at the results and they are uh, well involved in the design process of these uh, components. What are the benefits of Auto Career? Of course, you can save a lot of time. You can increase uh, the safety as well as your uh, quality. And in the end, you uh, save a lot of costs. If you need more information from technical side, it's me, Urs. And if you have any other questions, please contact Daniel Losley or go to our website. And if you need a test license, contact us. Thank you very much.